Hello everyone, and welcome to the first Let's Play of the Platinum Blythons. I'm Drew. And I'm Carla. And we'll be your hosts for this game. Now, once I actually get to the title, I mean, by the title of the video you should already know, but, you know, it's always fun to see the title. And for anyone that doesn't know, it's already Banjo-Kazooie. And if at this point you haven't Yay! seen the title thing, you can just go look it up, because we're not going to go through all that. Alright. So, now... Let me first off, if anybody has actually stuck to anything that, uh, when we were first starting out about a year and a half ago trying to f get our stuff together with capture cards <laughs> and audio, uh, we, uh, kind of ran into some technical difficulties, because basically we're running literally on the skin of our teeth, because I think the total amount of money I spent on everything to get this recording stuff done, because I'm recording first from this, because, uh, me and Carla are not in the same cities. We are in two totally different cities. And, uh, but like, what, it, four hours away? Yeah, about like oh four God. hours, two and a half hours, somewhere around there. One hour, four hours. Across the country. Yeah, no, we're not across the country, we're in the same state. But um, It's better than that. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. No, we're, we're like a drive, but like a pretty long drive. But uh, but basically, it costs, costs me about uh, $11 total for the capture equipment and. Uh, so the quality might not be best, the audio might not be best, but it's the best that we could do of our situations because money is not a uh, thing that we have exactly. Broke but... college students. Woo! We have no money. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go and we're going to take the first file. We're just going to go in this. Now... Sleeping Banjo. Yeah. Sleeping Banjo. I already have the... I already have the uh, gambling one for myself because I tend to do that with a lot of games that I have where I have... I always keep the save file that I did oh. my best on, like, no matter what, and I'm very kind of organized about that. Yeah, that's why I have my really, really old Banjo-Tooie file that's like 110 hours from when I was a kid. There you go. So I was just like, I don't want to delete this. And, then it's, and that's what I have a lot of time unless, like, uh, something comes up, or it's like, or even like Pokemon games, I kind of have a trouble with that, because it's like, there's only one file, so I'm just like, <laughs> I don't want to. But... So... You know, Grunty's, like, rhyming scheme thing? Yeah. Had you ever played Nuts and Bolts? Uh, no. I I, can't, I know I kind of, between us, uh, like, whenever we talk or something, I don't, I know I give it a lot of crap, because it's like, this is, this is not okay, and I should really kind of be more, like, eh, about it, because it's like, I've heard, stand, as a standalone, it's fun, but as a Banjo-Kazooie game, it is absolutely horrid, but, uh... No, I've always wanted to kind of try it, but we're uh, but no. Base short answer, no. Well, <laughs> well, well, I own it, <laughs> but um, Grunty's rhymes are painful. Yeah, rhymes. They're just, and... No, they're not, it's not even in the good way because I mean, like her rhymes are like, oh, those are kind of lame, but blah, you know, like normally, but like in nuts and bolts it's just like oh that was just oh that wasn't even good why did you try for that yeah they went for it and they well basically they went for is it it, and... it might be a robot i think actually i uh, don't know i haven't no it, it, it is grunty it's her in, grunty in, in a robot yeah she's in a robot she, she her it's just her skull in like a life preserving water thing like a la futurama like with famous people and then she's just yeah. in a robot, but, yeah, but, basically, we wanted to start with this game, because this was a game that, uh, both of us really played a lot in our childhood, mainly Banjo-Tooie for Carla, but for me, this was the game that I would just place. I kind of fucked up the Kazooie's just hanging in the backpack on, like, a coat rack. She doesn't even get a bed of her own. Is it still called animal abuse in a world where it's all animals, or what, what would that be? Because, is that still considered animal abuse, or is it just regular abuse at this point? Oh, no. yeah, but, uh, but Wait, what's this mole guy's name again? Uh, Bottles. Bottles! That's yeah. it, okay. And Jam Tires is his brother, right? Aw, uh, yeah. I can't- uh, where, where was that? Maybe it was like Grunchy's Revenge from the Game Boy Advance. I can't remember. I used to have that game myself. The uh, Game Boy one? Yeah. That was a good one, actually. It was, mm -hmm. good. Uh, it was actually pretty good for what it was. It was pretty good. It was, um, yeah. But this is both. I think, Carla, did you get this? Was this the first game you got, or was Tui the first one that you got? Um, I. 
I think my cousins owned Kazoo, the first one, and so I played that with them. Mm. But I never owned it, but the one that we ended up owning was Tui, so that's the one I played more. Yeah, gotcha. But I mean, I, pl I played Kazooie first. Mm. Um, yeah, I played this. I honestly didn't. I knew of Tui, but I never... I didn't actually get or play the game until, uh, like, 2006. But, oh. but here we are, finally, after five minutes, we are finally on this. Um, now, for our Let's Play, we went back and forth a lot of what we want to do, and the other night we were just like, you know what, why don't we go, no, we're just going to do these for fun. We're not, I mean, uh, when I play, I'm going to- No, gonna 100%. No, totally 100%. Um, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Actually, guys. that's something I wanted to say was, uh, was, uh, the games that, a lot of the games that I- want to do or we have kind of kind of narrowed down with the list is is a lot of games that personally that when I play or something if uh, if it's not too much or if it's not totally like out of the way or totally stuff then or unless it's integral to completing the game then you know I'll try to go as much as 100% like for this we're go I'm gonna try and get like all the jiggies all the note pieces uh, all the moves uh, I may do stop and swap stuff but honestly I see no point to be honest, and all like the honeycomb pieces too, I'll get those. But because a lot of that is like while you're playing, and like I'm like with Tui where you have to backtrack a lot, and that's why I think I don't play it. Or not that I don't like the Banjo Kazooie games. Ah, oh, I I did the I stupid. I actually prefer Tui over Kazooie. Yeah. No. Yeah. And that's... so I might be the one playing that one in the future. Yeah. And. FYI, I'm not very good at 100% in games, so don't expect much from me. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, I'm just a... Personally, I'm a completionist a lot, so... Like with PS4 games, I'll try and get the Platinum Trophy, and like with a lot of older games, I'll try and do as much 100% as I think the doable or seem fit to my personal standards. But, like I said, for this, we'll, we'll get all the basic stuff, because like with 2, you have to back and track a lot, and I kind of... I don't really like that. But I want to finish Tui at some point. But for this, I think since, for me, a lot of this is just going through all levels. And there's only one point you have to go between two, but that's it. So I think I'm just going to go for 100% uh, while doing this. And we shouldn't... Hmm? I think it's hard with this one because this is the N64 version and not the 360 version where you... Oh, don't yes. save all of your like oh yeah if i mess up then uh, we may just have to cut to me getting everything all over again but i'm pretty good at this game i played this i mean to be honest i only 100 percent it for the first time like uh only like a few years ago like three years ago um because i just i don't know why i never got around to it but i would always get like up to grunty and then i would stop <laughs> and i <laughs> don't know what happened but basically uh, actually, right now in the game, I kind of messed up earlier, and I meant to press B because I know the game well enough where I'm just like, no, I don't need to do this. I literally know. Uh, but tutorial, stuff. though. Tutorial <laughs> stuff. Hooray, padding. Yay. Hooray. Hooray, padding. <laughs> um, but um. But yeah, we're just gonna have fun with this. We're just gonna go through it, and like I said, uh. 100% uh, in this game does not take long. I mean, on my other file, it's like it took seven hours. No, speed run it. Speed run it. Glitches. 100% glitches. Um, as much as I would like to do a speed run of some game that I, some games that I own, it's just like it takes so much dedication and a lot of time. I'm just like I can't because uh, some I of those people. I speed run Ocarina. Oh, oh man. That's what I, mean, I want to do. I mean, if you can figure out how to glitch through some stuff, I mean, it looks super fun. I think I've done that it a few times. It looks awesome. Games. And, uh, like, the guy who speedrun um, Ocarina, like, he has, like, tutorials and stuff, so... And yeah. you can, like, ask him questions, and he'll be open to answering. Yeah, and everything talks. Great. Um. Kinda sounds like it's farting. No, that's the toilet. What? That's the toilet in, uh, Mad Monster Mansion. There's a toilet. Oh. Whenever it talks, it makes a farting noise. Well, well uh, I mean, the honeycomb kind of sounds like a farting noise, too. So is that basically like bees farting, then? Is that what it is? I don't know. I love how Kazooie is just so sassy. Sass. So just sass. So sass. Love it. I wish I could do voices. Really like, do. she's so snarky. Oh, she is. Oh, I could do voices, but I'm not going to do them right now. <laughs> 
they're just annoying, so. But let's see if I can. <gasps> yeah, I did it! And I got this. Hooray! The extra life. Do re do lives reset when you reset the game or do they stack? I can't remember. I don't remember. I think it might just be like uh oh, I don't have that yet. Getting too far ahead of myself. And I forgot what this one too. Right? You know what I really like about Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie? What? Like this first area I'm... is the same, pretty oh, much. Yeah. Oh, oops. I just think that's pretty cool. That's cool. Um, but no, yeah, I like this a lot. It's a good tutorial area because it's like, uh, what it does too is an, it gives you an incentive why to do everything in this area first because it has six hunting pieces. So it gives you, so it gives you that chance to experience getting an extra life thing uh, as you see fit. I mean, uh, and it's not that, a very big area. Oh no, not at all. I mean, the areas get big. I mean, at one point. There are four different areas that are considered one level. I mean, that's the last one, but I mean, it's just like you literally go through the same level four times, but it's the same. Oh, the seasons one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Clickhawk Woods. I hate playing that area. To I be like honest. it. I like the music. I like the music. Like, I like the concept, but I like it, it's, it's kind of boring to me. <laughs> eh. But um, I, I think that's just my bias for um, Tui showing up, because Tui has like. I feel like Tui has a lot more variety in their worlds and like oh. more characters. No, yeah, totally. That that's what they did, and maybe like once I finish it and really kind of get into it, it, maybe I'll like it a lot more. It's just because I've never really gotten too far into the game. I've maybe got past uh, like Clunko. Uh, well, further than that. Um, <laughs> but like maybe two worlds, two or three worlds. I would always get past Witchy World, and then I oh. just, I just, I don't know. Have I done this yet? Yes, I have. Hooray! Plus, I have a stupid, like, love of the part where you're Kazooie and you, like, hatch eggs. Oh, yeah, totally. And, uh, my girlfriend just... A dinosaur look. Yeah, my girlfriend absolutely loves Tui. And it's so much, like, she will defend it to the end of her days. Um, and her, actually, her ringtone, I don't know if it's for me or if just for everyone in general, is the Mr. Patch. Music. Oh, I hate that boss. <laughs> oh. He's so hard to fight. Uh, like, if you're going back to playing it after a long time, he's so hard to fight because it's like hard to control. Mm -hmm. um, I actually was playing it with her like a couple months ago, and like, I mean, she loves it too, but she's just like, yeah, it's it's sometimes it's a little, and we're trying it like playing it like. My thing with it is, uh, what was I gonna say? <sighs> I forgot. Oh, uh, was that because, like, the first person and shooting mechanics, because the, uh, reticle doesn't stay in place, you have to keep moving it or not move it as much to get it in the right spot. And that's my problem with, like, the whole first person thing is, like, uh, yeah. I'm just like, can, can, can it just kind of, kind of stay? I'm just, uh, but, I mean, it's and not like it's swimming. <laughs> oh, yeah. The swimming is agonizing. I remember just swimming around and around, just trying to get over a warp pad, and it was like, oh, get on it, Banjo. Yeah, but they're it's also, not that hard. Uh, but they're both good games in their perspectives, and not every game. Oh is yeah, no, absolutely. Fun. I think it's just more of like the whole factor of it being an older game. You know, controls yeah. weren't that. Amazing. Oh yeah, going back and playing some games, you're just like, man, these controls suck. How'd I do this? Oh god, I love it. Oh, this or something like that. Yeah. This is always something. Like that's what I did a lot of the time was, uh, like, not in recent years, like a few years ago, back when there was an older game shop in my town. Uh, fortunately, went on business, which was sad because I got really close to the guys that worked there, and they had—it wasn't like GameStop. It was—they had like they had like NES games, SNES, N64, oh, Game what Boy. What was it called? It was called Plane Train, oh. and they just had all this stuff, and and they were just super cool and everything like that. And they actually, I think two of them went to my high school because it was when I was back in high school, and. Mm. Uh, and so I would see him at school and be like, hey, what's up? And so it's like, oh, yeah. I totally wasn't paying attention. Beat up those vegetables. Oh, there we go. See, I knew what I was doing. Nobody likes vegetables. I'm just kidding. Vegetables are good. Eat them. Eat no. your vegetables, kids. No, no, Mom. You can't tell me what to do. 
But, but it just made me kind of sad. Cause, but what it was, but they went out of business. I don't know if they got robbed or I can't remember what it was. There were a lot of conflicting stories out there. But uh, I went in and I bought like two games I used to rent all the time back uh, back when I used to live in Washington. Uh, um, but I would always play them on my N64, but I never beat them, and I always had them in my mind. And then I found found them at the store, and I was like, oh, dude, I totally get them. And two the two games I got were like Mystical Ninja with, starring Goemon. And, oh, um, Goemon. Goemon, and, uh, and then also Gex 64. And Goemon, I was like, oh, yeah, totally. And it's like, and it took me a while, and I finally decided, like, in this past year, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna beat it, and I beat it. And then I played Gex 64, and I'm like, uh, this wasn't as great as I remember it being. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. So, I think we just kind of completed everything, I know. Now, like I said before, we, we were kind of discussing what we really want to do with this, and honestly, we just want to have fun with it. We just want to kind of have fun with what we're doing, and I, wanna, and I wanted to kind of do... At first, I was kind of like, oh, informative, all that kind of stuff, but it's just like, you know what, there, there are people out there that do that, and stuff like that, and, you know, and not enough people that just do it for fun or anything like that, like, don't have to explain anything, especially with like a popular game like this. And I mean, obviously, there's probably like a bunch of games like this, but we wanted we wanted to start with a game that we really kind of had a lot of respect for. We really, really loved, and Rare did an amazing job back on the N64 with yep. all the games. And this was just its game that stuck with a lot of people. I think, like, where people think that like collectibles or anything, this is the game that I always think of. Um, so we want to start with that, and we'll do like more games as long as we keep kind of going. But we basically reached the end of Spire Mountain and its ball training area, and so I think we're gonna stop here for the first uh, for the first episode, and then we'll continue as we enter the lair. <laughs> the creepy lair with the green eyes. Who let her build that? <laughs> I don't know. These contractors are very. It's a little vain. It's a little vain, plus it seems a little impractical. But, yeah. But I think that'll just about do it, and next time, I think, next time on Banjo Kazooie, we will enter Gratilda's Lair. <laughs> See ya. Bye.